right to the infinite banking concept and selecting the right insurance company. So you don't need me or anyone to tell you that there are a lot of insurance companies out there. Obviously, right? There's more than we can count. When it comes to the banking concept, what that does is teach one how to use a life insurance policy as a high cash value insurance asset, right? How do I use it as a financing tool? And how do I maximize my returns? How do I design it properly where I've got a cash rich account immediately, right? Early break even point, all that good stuff. The company selection is important, right? So we're gonna take an, an in-depth look at companies and their actual financials. First, we'll list out different companies that are often used for the banking concept. You've likely been recommended one of these companies if you've ever looked into it before. So the first thing, you've all heard me say this how many times? How many times do you think, Cheyenne? 200, I mean 200,000 times. Start with your four major mutual companies, right? Which you've got Mass Mutual, you've got Guardian, you've got New York Life, and then you have Northwestern Mutual. Right, and we list out their 2019 dividend rates. Here we go. 6.4%, 585%, 6 and 5%. Quick side note, when it comes to company selection, right, any one of these big four, why we're so big on them, aside from their company financials and their size, which you're gonna see are the cream of the crop, that's where major institutions, this is where major institutions go with their money. But aside from that, when we look at real historical performance, what has actually happened, not just an illustration, these guys have always delivered. Right, so we've got those four. So we're just gonna categorize it this way. You've got your big four, four majors. And then we frequently see other companies promoted and practiced with IBC, the infinite banking concept, often the reason being we'll hear is they're more flexible or accommodating. They support the infinite banking concept. And I'm not sure what that means, but we hear it all the time. So let's look at them. And this is not a shot at these other companies, but we wanna just see everything. So we've got your four major mutuals. And then what I'll consider second and third tier companies. Now, if we have proof of performance, which none of these companies have decided to disclose yet, but if we have proof, we'll definitely recommend them as well. So other companies we see right, are often Lafayette. We'll hear of companies called AUL, that's short for American United Life. They're actually owned by One America. company called Security Mutual Life, SML, Penn Mutual, which project very strong returns, keyword being project. I don't want to cram the board here, so we're going to put more over here. We've got Mutual Trust, got Foresters, and another one we can throw in there would be Emeritus. And there are others as well, but these are probably the most popular companies used for IBC, right, the banking concept. And a lot of them are A-rated, they're solid companies, but again, when we look at actual life insurance policy, what I am looking for is real returns, right? What have they actually done? What do their guarantees look like? And this is before I put my money into an account. So let's take a look at all of these companies. First, we'll start with just a comparison of our big four, right? The major mutual companies. How's that screen size? It's okay. All right. So if you take your four major mutuals, a couple things we'll notice here, right? We've got mass. Guardian, New York Life, and Northwestern Mutual. 
Now, of those four carriers, Mass, New York, and Northwestern obviously are more recognizable names. They are larger. Guardian's the smallest. They've still delivered on, on par as far as returns. But more people are familiar with these guys as, as they have done much more advertising. So you will see their company size much larger. There we go. So what I want to look at here, ratings. Got AM Best, Standards and Poor, all this good stuff. The Comdex rating, let me get out of the way here. It's kind of like a grade that takes everything and all the different safety ratings, lumps it together. And you're going to see all four of these fall between a 98 and 100, which is almost as high as you can get, 100 being the highest. That's solid. So rather than go through all their detailed numbers here, our financial profile here, let's go down to a comparison with graphs rather than look at all the detailed numbers, right? So if we just look at the admitted assets to start, their company size, you see they're massive. Compared to each other, blue is mass, green is guardian, yellow is New York life, red is Northwestern. They all have their niche markets, right? But massive companies, we've got the actual numbers here in billions. Total income, and this is based off of 2017, 2018 reports have not been updated yet on these financials. You see all four of these companies fluctuate a bit depending on the year, but all massive. And you'll see where we're going with this. And then we've got just net premiums written, right? What was the total amount of life insurance premiums written incoming to the company? Mass, Guardian, New York Life, Northwestern. Again, the bigger three do a lot more advertising, right? If you watch TV, see commercials and such, or you know through YouTube ads, those three come up. Guardian, not so much. They are smaller. You see them advertise more to a lot of medical professionals, attorneys. Their disability product is strong as well. Right, so that's the big four. Now let's compare. We're going to look at Mass and Guardian because they are more flexible. Right, we've done segments on the four major mutuals, and Mass and Guardian are more flexible in the sense that you can adjust your contributions, paying more, paying less, and not have to go through underwritings, medical exams, and all that stuff, which is no fun. So this report here, is this small? Or you see this on the screen? Uh, it could be a little. A little bit bigger? Uh, let's see what I can do here. That's good. If I get that a little bit bigger. Right, so what we listed out here, right, to start, we've got Mass Mutual, Guardian, Lafayette Life, Mutual Trust, Security Mutual, American United Life, Foresters, and Penn Mutual. Eight's good to start, right? <laughs> Rather than add more on there. So what I want to look at first is, it's kind of cut off here, but where you see these grades is our Comdex rating, right? And then you've got A++, AA, right? That's their financial and often safety ratings that other carriers give them. See Mass and Guardian, cream of the crop, right? 98 and 98. We start to get into other companies. You've got Lafayette Life at a 95. You also have American United Life, AUL, at a 95. Now, one thing you will see here is that some companies have missing reports. Some companies have C's, which is not good. Why reports are missing are due to the fact that the insurance company did not want to participate in that. They elected not to, which usually tells us something in itself. However, what you'll always find consistent is you take those big four compared to everyone else, you are going to see superior ratings in numbers if we went through the actual figures here. Rather than do that, since we got a lot going on in the sheet, we're gonna look at a comparison graph, which we won't need to blow this up as much for this one. Right, so firstly, right, we looked at the last report with the big four, total admitted assets, so company size. All right, you might be chuckling at this one. <laughs> You've got a behemoth right here in blue. 
That's Mass Mutual. They're large. One thing about them, they have a very attractive bank-owned life insurance policy. So when banks look at their tier one assets being Boley bank-owned life insurance, that company is heavily considered very frequently. That's going to boost them, right? That's going to give them a clear advantage there. It's also going to give them more assets, more money to work with for the individual marketplace. Then you've got Guardian, right? We can see them. Then you've got everybody else. Right, companies here that make a little bit of a splash, that's AUL, that's Penn Mutual, via the company size. What you'll see though, when we look at the numbers, I mean, just in the size alone, there's a big difference. Right, if we start to look at returns, historical performance, you'll see a huge difference there. Well, for historical performance, Mass Guardian, New York Life, and Northwestern disclose it where no one else has disclosed that to us yet been working on it. So that's total admitted assets. Let's look at total income. Right? Money coming into the policy to the company that is. So this can be from insurance sales, right? But it is not restricted to that when we look at total income because they've got other areas where income income can come from. Right? If a company pays you a 6% dividend, they're earning more than 6%. Right, they've got to satisfy the life insurance business, pay out claims. They've got to satisfy their employees. Right, and then there's a surplus for the dividend rate to be paid to the consumer, which means they're earning much more than that dividend rate they're giving. So total income, again, there's Mass. There's Guardian. One thing you'll always see, those big four, they know what they're doing. You're going to, always going to see them higher. There's AUL. Now, one side note there, their numbers are going to look good or better than the other smaller companies. They are owned by a larger company called One America, right? which does help them, makes them a bit bigger. Regardless, you're not going to see much comparison to the big four. What do we have here? So this one's a valuable chart to see, especially if we're looking at the IBC, infinite banking concept, because here, ORD is short for ordinary, right? What this means is non-institutional, meaning we're not considering in this chart bank-owned, corporate-owned life insurance. These are individual policies. So this is more of a fair comparison Right, to put it that way, I'm not overinflating Mass Mutual's figures with their bank owned life insurance compared to the individual carriers. This is just ordinary life insurance in force, right? A policy an individual will take out. So, again, you've got Mass, you've got Guardian, and you've got everyone else, right? The largest of the smaller guys are here are Penn, followed again by AUL. Let's look at another graph. Net premiums written, right? How much premium was written? This was for 2017. 2018, you're going to see Guardian's numbers higher, most likely. Um, but net premiums written, again, you see a difference here. There's Mass, there's Guardian, there's everyone else, right? AUL had a good year in 2017. They kind of stick out compared to the smaller guys. Main point here, right, and you've likely noticed a consistency. You take your quality companies, right? Mass, Guardian, New York Life, Northwestern. We can only fit eight per report. This is back to the big four. That's why we didn't put New York Life and Northwestern on the last. But when you take those guys, their financials speak for themselves. But again, aside from all this, really what we look at, aside from policy flexibility and making sure the account is accommodating, right? I can pay more in at leisure. I can borrow and repay. I've got an online account. All that good stuff. Historical, actual performance. The big four have delivered. We've seen it. That's why we've, we've used them. When proof becomes available of other companies, yeah, we can certainly use them as well. But that's, that's the number one item we've always looked at. Before we offer a product or recommend a product or service, we want to see the proof. Hope this helps.